Okay, everybody, here we go for the second game of the Insane Visionaries. This time they're taking on the Thunder Crew. So, let's start off with the top lane. We have Garen versus Irelia. In the jungle, we have Ramus versus Warwick. In the mid lane, we have Annie versus Kennen. In the bot lane, we have an Ash Leona combo going up against Misfortune and Sona. Now, so far, we have the insane visionaries in the bot lane here taking up a defensive posture, much like they have before, making sure that the enemy can't invade. Now, Ramus is a relatively slow jungler and he very much needs the blue buff so he can clear the jungle. His first clear is relatively slow. Warwick, on the other hand, doesn't need it as much because his auto attacks heal him so much that he doesn't need a lot of mana. So Warwick can start at red if he wants to. Ramus pretty much has to start blue. You see Aurelia up here staring across the river. I don't think the team see each other at this point. And we see the Thunder crew starting to invade on the enemy red. So we have Warwick Misfortune. Sona should be coming down here pretty soon. And it looks like the Thunder crew is also going in. They're all grouped here with five in the mid lane. And they do have the cannon here. Are they going to catch him out? Annie throws a little bit of poke down, but he's going to get safely away. And we have the camps about to spawn for the golems. And it looks like Warwick's going to be able to steal this without any problems. Misfortune helping. Uh-oh, Ash showing up. What'll happen? Ash sees it. It's a two versus one. Ash going in. He's going to put some poke down. Warwick should be dead. Yes. Misfortune is probably going to be able to kill Ash, though. Got the flash in. And it's a kill for Misfortune. So all in all, that showed up pretty even with Misfortune getting an assist on it, but Ash getting first blood. Misfortune has ended up with the red buff. That is going to be very important for later because Ash is going to come back to lane and have to deal with the red buff Misfortune. Up in the top lane, we have Garen versus Irelia. Now, early on, Garen's going to have an advantage in this, I think, but Irelia will be able to jump on him late game and be pretty good if she can survive. If you let Garen get ahead, he can just snowball pretty hard. Mid lane, we have Annie versus Kennen. Kennen has a little bit of poke, but Annie's burst is just so good, and she's got the guaranteed stun if she decides to use her disintegrate because it's targeted. And there she goes in for the poke, and there's the Annie poke that everybody knows and loves. It's also important to note that Annie has a longer basic attack range than Kennen, so she can get an auto attacks without being harassed down herself. We have Warwick at his blue, he just got that pretty low, and Ramus coming in for the bottom. Now the Thunder crew were able to put in a ward here in this bottom bush. And so Ramus is seen going in. Sona, ooh. Misfortune just played that one wrong and got herself killed, it looks like. Are they going to get it? Yes! There we go. Ash picking up the kill. A lovely gink there by Ramus. And it looks like we have some action going on mid. Let's go back and see exactly how this happened. We have Annie and Ken, both about half health here. Annie putting down the good poke, and Annie has her stun up. Every so many spells, Annie gets guaranteed stun, the flash, and then her cone of death, their incinerate, and that's one dead cannon. So we have bot lane and mid lane both going for the insane visionaries. Oh, Leona jumping in on the sauna. Is that going to be a kill? The flash out, and Leona backing out. Needing to take the hill though and taking a lot of damage. And that sauna's pretty much dead. But she's playing very far back. I don't think she's actually going to die from this. Unless she plays very stupid and decides to go in. Because Ash can poke somewhat, but I can only do one volley at a time. Okay, Ash is backing up a bit. We have Miss Fortune here. 
And Miss Fortune is able to pick up Doran's blade and two health pots right now, while Ash just has boots too, which means that Miss Fortune is going to be hitting harder when they exchange auto attacks if Ash lets it get to that point. Up in the top lane here, Irelia is pushing fairly hard. And she's at 16 CS to the 8 CS of Garen. Now, Garen only has a ward and no health pots left, while Irelia still has a health pot. So, right now, it looks like Irelia is winning by a relatively good margin. So, we have Ash going in, pressuring Misfortune. Ooh, missing some CS on the way. And I always gotta watch out CSing and count for the minions helping out. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. So now at the bot lane, we have 19 CS on Misfortune to the 9 CS of Ash. But Ash has two kills, Misfortune only has one. So Ash still has a small gold advantage. 1700, 1600. And Leona going in again. Ash poking down Sono. Will she get one more? And the last auto attack. There we go. For the kill on Sona. Now, Sona is great for the poking, and she has good sustain, but, ooh, that was a screw up by Leona. As I was saying, Sona is very squishy if you can jump on her with somebody like Leona. Now, Leona there went for the Zenith Blade to jump to Misfortune instead of just walking up to her. A lot of people forget that you can just walk up to somebody and stun them with Leona because of her Shield of Daybreak. And here we have Warwick. Now, I'm curious what's going to happen, because it would be a two-on-two with a Warwick and Misfortune versus Leona Ash. And Warwick is not 6. Warwick's ganks are only good once he hits 6. Because at that point he could just jump on somebody with his ultimate of infinite duress and hold them down and suppress them for 2.5? Here we go. For 2.5 seconds, or 1.8 seconds at level 1. It means they can't move, they can't do anything, and Misfortune can wail on them. But before that, he doesn't even have a slow except for the red buff. So we have Annie that ran away from a cannon, and he got her low. And we have Garen that also had to go back. So things are getting pretty good top lane for Irelia. She was able to kill Garen. Now Irelia is up 2 0 and has 12 CS on Garen. So if I really is going to get ahead, Garen is going to have a hard time coming back from this one. We have Ramus that was catching Warwick in his jungle, because Ramus always has trouble clearing it. He's going in, but this is not looking good. There we go, Irelia coming in, getting some kills onto Ramus. And what's going to happen? Leona wants to go in, Kenan here going in, and Misfortune coming up to join the party. Kenan hit six, he blew his ult, killing the Leona. And no one else is six yet. Annie has not hit six. She cannot drop her bear onto Kenan yet. When she hits that, then Kenan will be in trouble anytime he's at half health. Before that, she can still do good damage, but uh, not quite there. She's about two thirds the way to level six, so with this wave and maybe one more, she'll be able to hit six. It's fortune going back down bottom, where Ash is having free farm against Sona and still missing some of the CS. So we have 33 CS to the 15 of Ash. But the money is still in Ash's favor because of those three kills. But back to the items, no one's gone back yet on the bottom. The supports, we have Leona picking up the Philosopher's Stone, standard item to get some of the gold per 10, and the Sight Stone, possibly the best addition for Season 3 on supports because it means they don't have to buy as many wards because they get them for free once they have it. So Leona is spending time mid, she's looking onto Kennen, misses the Zenith Blade, which is probably a good thing, because Annie was way far behind. Annie has still not hit 6, she's almost there, and if she can get the experience off of these creeps, she can get 6 before Kennen knows what's going to hit him. Now Kennen is 7 right now, Annie flashes in, do they have the kill, the taunt from Ramus, that's a dead Kennen right there. There we go. And level 6 for Annie. So now she can get back in on this. Annie's 2-0. And Kennen is 1-2. But Kennen has a lot of CS on Annie. 26 to 43. Which means that even though 
she has those two kills, Kennen probably has more money. 2300 total. 2300 total. Okay, so Kennen has evened up the money that they have. Annie's going to go get her blue. Now, early on, Annie really could use that blue. Because that means she can spam all the spells and get her stun up. And that way, anytime Kennen tries to come in for a CS, Annie stuns him and gets free harass. Which will make it very hard on Kennen. Down bottom, we have the standard standoff here. Where we have Leona looking to jump in on somebody. And Sona staying just far enough back that she can use her crescendo and make everybody dance that comes in. Miss Fortune was poking around there. And here we go, Leona going in. And Leona did not get the stun off, that's an issue. It's also important to note, Leona is not six. Which means she does not have her solar flare that can CC two people and really help them get the kill. But Ash does have a crystal arrow. Oh, Leona going in, missing the Zenith Blade, and stunning a minion. Oh, there's the Crescendo going out, Ash flashes, Leona going into cover, and some damage going down on Leona, but not enough to kill her. Now, Leona still has a bit to go till she's six, so it'll take at least another wave for that to happen. Which means that Ash is going to be in a bit of trouble if they try to dive and get Warwick down here. But, Warwick is invading. So in Ballsy Warwick, and he's doing it without ward coverage, which makes it scary. Invading with wards? Good idea. Invading without wards is very scary. Luckily, it looks like it's going to work out unless Annie sees him. And he's looping around. Annie is looking for him. And Annie's going up top. Oh, down bottom here, we have Leona going in. Let's rewind here. Here we go. We have... Miss Fortune and Sona pushed way up, but the Insane Visionaries have Rams coming in with the Flash and the Arrow. That's the stun, and the going in on Leona. And Miss Fortune, Miss Fortune. There we go. Now, Rams did a good job there of just running ahead of Miss Fortune, trying to give Ash the kill. And Leona really shouldn't have taken that kill, but they did get the kill, which is the important part. And Ash was able to get the assist. Because early on, you want to get as many kills on your AD carry and AP carry as possible. Oh, Jerwine, we have another kill going on top. This is going to be a lot of action for this game. Okay, we have Annie up top, seen by the ward. And Warwick coming in. Warwick ults her, doesn't do very much damage, holds her down for a little bit. I really are there jumping on her and getting enough damage. Because they had the ward. That's all it was, the ward right there. Let them know that Garen was not coming in time. And it was a 2v1 with him just sitting on the sidelines, twiddling his thumbs. That's one of the advantages of Irelia, that she can jump on somebody, has really good damage, and it's really hard to kill her because she has good stuns. Now we have Kennen up here, diving the Garen. Ah, not much he could do there. Because when you have three people diving one person, the three people do it right, that one is always dead. Doesn't matter if there's a turret or not. Now we do have Ash and Leona coming up here with Ramus on the sidelines. Now if Warwick stays too long, the Kennen, okay, Ramus going in, hits Salt, gets the taunt, and that's a dead Warwick. Will Kennen get a kill out of this? Ramus is pretty low. They were able to kill the Ramus, but another kill for Ash. So that definitely went in favor of the Insane Visionaries. And right now, looking at the total, total gold, we have the Thunder Crew with seven kills to nine of the Insane Visionaries, but the Thunder Crew has been CSing very well, and they got the turret, and they're up by almost a thousand gold. And here we have I really trying to jump on Annie, and the support coming in for the kill. Very good there that they gave Ash the kill instead of giving that one to Leona. Because now, Ash is five and one. She has 34 CS, which is pretty bad at this point, but she's been getting kills, so it's not quite as bad. We have Warwick coming up here and Miss Fortune. Warwick ulting in onto Ash. Miss Fortune ult, and that's all she wrote. That Miss Fortune ult, if you can get everything on, it's really going to hurt. We have the Sona coming in. She's able to throw a crescendo across, picking up the Leona. Ramus being charged in. Ramus is going to go down. Yes, there's that, but. 
Guarantee will they get a kill out of this? Any effort there for cleanup. What can Annie do? Annie gets the kill on Kenan. Annie has Tibbers. She drops Tibbers. Gets the kill on Misfortune. Will she pick up the Sona? She's going in. She has mana. She has the blue buff. And... Ah, Sona gets away. So, overall, that was four for three. And Annie picking up a triple kill on the back end. So, not so bad. And they were able to keep the turret. We have a rally here. I really is tanking the turret. I think she wants to bait in the Annie here. I feel like this is a bait for Annie. And that was... No, that wasn't a bait. That was just deciding to tank a turret with minions right there and an Annie ready to kill you. Well, what can you do? She did survive, which is important. Able to get a little bit of damage, but not really worth it for Irelia, in my opinion at least. And because I'm the only one talking, that's the opinion we're going by. Okay, now look at the CS for top lane. We have Irelia at 76 CS to the 44 of Garen. Irelia also has three kills at 3-1 to a 0-3 Garen. Not looking so good for Garen. He's going to have a hard time coming back for that, especially because he has to jump into the front line, which involves a Sona and a Kenan and a Warwick and Irelia in order to get through, and all he has is a Brutalizer. So not going so well. For the jungle, Ramus at 51 CS to the 44 of Warwick. Now we also have the Insane Visionaries picking up a dragon, uncontested. Lots of pings going down everywhere. The Thunder Crew look like they're gonna go in. Ramus gets the gank off on Misfortune, dead Misfortune. Ramus takes some damage from Kennen, but Leona coming in to give Ash a double kill. And Irelia staying there, gonna try and save the turret. They have a chance. But with Leona, you can always dive somebody. And with Leona, Ash, and Annie... Yeah. Warwick sitting on the sidelines. Ready to try and jump in. Warwick does have his ultimate up. And Warwick going pretty tanky. He was able to pick up the Spirit of the Ancient Golem, which is going to give him some of the tenacity and a good chunk of health. So he's pretty tough to kill right now, especially because he gets health back with every hit. So right now, we do have the gold disparity that was about 1k, is now practically dead even, here at 16 minutes into the game. Now Ramus here is looking to go in, and he really wants to kill somebody. This might be bad for him, we have Sona and Misfortune, but he just went up to Ward and makes it out safely. We have the blue buff being picked up by Annie. Oh, reset, always a pain. Oh, Misfortune and Sona and Irelia are going to come in from the top. And... Ooh, dead Annie, dead Annie? No, not quite. We have Garen coming in for the support. Oh, the beautiful arrow right up on Misfortune. Fortunately, it doesn't do a whole lot, except possibly save Annie on the side. Annie realizes she's dead, but she went in for the kill. And will it work? Yes, the kill for Annie, turning that one around. One for one as far as Annie's concerned. But Ramus was caught out there. Now Leona trying to hold down Warwick, but this could be very bad for them, because Warwick, as I said earlier, is tanky, while Leona doesn't have very much extra health. She does have the Sightstone, which gives some health. She's got some armor and boots of mobility, but not so much health. Well, those boots of mobility are really going to help for engages. I think they're a very strong choice in Season 3, and Warwick... Warwick going up and baiting out as all far as I can tell, taking a lot of damage, but his team didn't engage. That could have been a good time for Sona to use her crescendo, but of course the crescendo is down right now. So that was just Warwick going up and trying to bait them to do something stupid. Who knows, whatever it is, it didn't work. So now we have the mid dance going on here. The Insane Visionary's turret is really low. If the Thunder Crew can just push down a little bit here, they could easily take that one and then fight, but it is against a Leona and Ramus with Ash for damage. Garen right now just has a Brutalizer, not very much damage. Oh, and here's Annie. Leona going in, getting the cannon down, and cannons just burst down for free. I don't know what they were trying to do, but Sono and Misfortune went to the outside there, and... Sona being hit. There's a stun. Ashero taunt. Dead Sona, but we do have Irelia in the middle of everything. And Misfortune coming in. 
Garen doing some damage on the side. Ash is gonna die. Yep. We have Garen though, who's probably gonna be able to pick up the Misfortune. Yes. And the Warwick ult. Misfortune ult. Was able to pick up the Ramus. And that might be enough. Yes! Warwick was able to pick up the kill because of that Misfortune ult. Now that was a really good ult right there, and I'm surprised she's able to get that much of it off. Warwick giving up the chase for Leona. And that turned into two for four for the Thunder Crew. Very good engagement by them. I'm surprised they were able to keep it down that much. And we have a high kill game here right now. Just before 20 minutes, it's 20 to 17. And we have a 1k gold advantage for the Thunder Crew. And it looks like the Thunder Crew is just going to siege down the turret real quick and ignore Leona. And there we go. Three turrets down for the Thunder Crew, and none yet for the Insane Visionaries. That's where a good chunk of this gold is coming from. And the CS so far, no one has hit 100 CS. Rem is coming up, getting the cannon, were they able to get the taunt? Yes, Annie getting the stun there, and they might be picking up Warwick too. Warwick might make it away. The volley does miss. And so Ramus tanking the turret there, dies to Irelia. And that ended up as a one for one. Not the best, seeing as how they are able to catch out Cannon, but not the worst either. Okay, we have Sona and Misfortune coming up, and Sona does have her ultimate ready now. But it looks like the Insane Visionaries are going to go take their first turret here. Completely undefended top turret that has a good minion wave. Easy kill there. Now the Thunder Crew are coming up here. They have a really at half health, and they might be able to get something here. Okay, they're seen by a ward. They know that there's three there with the ward, and they have four top for the Insane Visionaries. This could be a very good engagement for them if they go in. They are not. Wondering why they had the ward there. They saw them. I guess they were scared of where Warwick was. Not that they have to be scared right now. There he is. Can they get the stun off or something? And Leona going in to secure the kill here. Yes, okay. Flashing to make sure they got it. And, but to Leona doesn't take a kill or two during a game. So Leona got the kill on that one. And it looks like they're chasing down. They got the Sona caught, but no damage there. Ram is powerballing in. Looks like they want to get the Irelia and care about the Sona. Sona getting an amazing crescendo off there. Getting three people in it. Kennen using his ultimate trying to save his life. Not enough. Misfortune going balls deep there getting her ultimate off, but no other support their damage, and this fortune just falls through a suicide right there, more or less. Now we do have Ramus incredibly low, and Ash and Annie are at half health, but there's nobody on the Thunder crew that can really touch him. Sona gonna defend here, and she could easily fall if they decide to dive her, but nope, they're gonna ignore Sona, take the turret, and... Here we go, now they're going to try and chase down Sona, but backing off because of Warwick. Now Warwick did get the Wit's End, which is very powerful, because it does 40 damage, yep, 42 bonus damage per hit, and his ultimate counts for 5 on hit times. So that means it's going to do over 200 more damage, simply because of the Wit's End. So I do like Wit's End on Warwick, plus it gives the Magic Resist. Which means he's getting pretty tanky, especially now that he has Ninja Tabby, and he's got the extra health. That's one tanky Warwick. Gonna be a good front line for them. Now Thunder Crew take a free dragon here. Leona going for a steal on that. Good try. No luck. Now Leona does have double buff, which means that her ultimate is not gonna be down for very long. Less than a minute left, and she just used it. We do have the Runic Bulwark coming out for Leona, which gives an aura that is very good. It's the upgrade from the old Aegis that gives 30 magic resist and 10 armor. Where the old Aegis, which is still the same but now has the upgrade, only gives 10. Which means that it's really gonna hurt the cannon's damage, because he's all AP for AoE, and 30 magic resist on everybody, really gonna lower what he can do. Now we're gonna go back and see what happens. We have all the outer turrets down, except for this one that's really low for the Thunder Crew. Let's see what we have going on. Looks like the Insane Visionaries want to push down mid, 
Now we do have Ken and Misfortune bottom, so if they just go quickly, they could get a free turret out of this because the Thunder Crew is out of position. And they have Irelia that tried to do what she can and is wisely backing off. And there we go. Free turret for the Insane Visionaries, but an engagement here, Misfortune throwing off her ultimate, getting good damage down, is not caught, but then the Ramus and Leona and Annie Sten coming out, and they're able to do tons of damage, and Ramus getting out, Ash being picked up though, and I really doing her bits, oh, the extra stuns coming in from Leona and Annie picking up Irelia. It's one of the strengths of Annie that she can get two combos off, oh, Annie flashing in to try and kill Sona, but just doesn't quite have the damage to burst her down. Leona wasn't able to get in there and help her, and this should be another turret for the Insane Visionaries. I don't think it's going to be an inhibitor. If they push the inhibitor, we're going to have Warwick, Kennen, and Misfortune up in time to kill him. So we have Kennen and Misfortune rushing in. They're going to defend the inhibitor. Will the Insane Visionaries stay? No, they are backing off. Big problem that a lot of people have is staying in, trying to kill the inhibitor, and then just dying. Take the free turret and get out. So now looking back at the gold, we do have a two and a half thousand gold advantage at 25 minutes for the insane visionaries. And it's a nice small advantage, but it's only a small advantage. At this point, team fights are going to mean a lot more, and the misfortune AoE ult with the crescendo from Sona and Kennen using his ultimate of the Slicing Maelstorm, really gonna be able to get a good AoE comp if they can catch somebody out or get something going. But so far, Annie's stun and Ramus taunt and Ash Arrow and Leona have really been able to just knock everybody down, just keep them CC'd long enough to kill them. Now we do have Garen that is 2, 5, and 11, and he's really coming back now. He's got the Giant's Belt, he's got the Black Cleaver, so now he's reasonably tanky and he can do decent damage against everybody. So he's not quite as squishy going to the front line. Ramus has been able to pick up a Frozen Heart, which is going to slow down the attack speed of Irelia and Misfortune. Or Rick too, but it's not so much about his auto attacks. It's Irelia and Misfortune that's really going to hurt. Now on Annie, we do have Death Cap and the Archangel Staff, along with Morello's Morella Macon, one of the new items for Season 3, and Ionian Boots of Lucidity. Now we've been seeing these Boots of Lucidity in a lot of AP mids now, simply because it's a cheap way to get cooldown reduction, and you're trading 15% cooldown reduction for 20 magic penetration from the Sorcerer Sues that you see a lot of times. In this case, on Kennen. Or excuse me, only 15 magic penetration now, after they nerfed the magic penetration because of the buff. But anyway, enough of that. We have the Thunder Crew coming down mid. It looks like they want to push. They have three people here. They do not have their tanky front line. It's going to be essential that you have a front line against the Insane Visionaries because the Insane Visionaries are going to be blowing somebody up. There's nothing you can do to stop Ramus and Leona from holding somebody down and getting killed. The idea is that you want it to be somebody like Irelia or Warwick. They can take a few hits and then you have your DPS of Kenan and Misfortune slaughter everybody else. So we have Thunder Crew here. Warwick is seen, but he's got her oracles. But Leona's going in on Misfortune. They're able to catch her out. There she goes. Kenan taking damage, but Irelia jumping in the back line. They're focusing down Irelia. And Warwick jumps into a 3v5, able to kill off Garen, but he's not the main source of damage. Oh, they didn't kill off that, they killed off Ash. Which is good. Ooh, a nice dodge there by Kennen. But we have the flash from Garen. He's going in. That's a dead Sona. Picked up by Annie. Ramus flashing, getting the taunt on Kennen. That's a dead Kennen. That just might be game. We have four people at full health taking down an inhibitor. Ramus and Garen can probably tank a turret. And we also have Tibbers that can tank. We have the minions coming in. Are they going to go for it? Misfortune is up. No, they're not. Are they? I can't tell. No, they're backing off because there's more people coming up. I think they might have been able to dive in there, but they're playing it safe. At this point, they're starting to get a nice gold lead. It's 34 kills to 21 and a 4k gold advantage. 
So here we go, they're going up for Baron instead of trying to finish the game. And he's starting it off early, taking a good bit of damage, but because they have other people to tank now, not so bad. And Ram is powerballing against Baron, giving him a nice back massage, and they don't finish it. That's probably going to hurt them. Or, if they can get back and heal in time, not so much. So the Thunder Crew going and shoving them off of Baron, scaring them away. Very well done by them. And they're going to go ahead and invade, take the jungle as much as they can, as they know the Insane Visionaries had to back off. Or we're picking up the blue there. And really, he's one of the few people that can use it, because it really doesn't really have mana problems. Ganon doesn't use mana, and Misfortune's the AD carry. So he's probably the best person for blues to go on to. Now we have Leona and Ash here with Ramus defending the top turret. They can defend it against these two people here. They're going to go in for a kill, actually. Oh, we also have Misfortune running away. But Ramus going in for Warwick. The problem with powerballing away like that is... Can anybody get there in time? Yes, there we go. We have Leona being able to get there in time, but a good Misfortune will catch the entire team, except for the fact that they didn't take that much damage. Ash and Annie are able to get down to less than half health, and Ken coming from behind. If he can get his slicing Maelstorm off, that could be good for him, but he doesn't go in in time and just decides to back off when Irelia was caught out again by Ramus. These Ramus taunts are really helping. Can he get off another taunt here? There's another Ramus taunt, and Garen going in, a dead cannon. And with that, we have Annie going legendary. 17-3-11 Annie. They're going bottom. It's going to do his tutorial style. Ram is tanking. Got to get the turret. They should be able to get two turrets off of this if they want. Because they have Kennen and Irelia that are still down. Kennen won't be up for 20 seconds. So if they engage, it'll be a 4v5, which they should be able to win. Especially because they have a pretty good advantage right now. So here goes the turn, and he's poking down Warwick a bit, taking one turret shot. And there goes the turret. Ramus going in, taking Warwick. Ramus slow, killed by Misfortune. Oh, Annie killing Sona. I really getting Annie, which is important because she's doing a lot of their damage. But we still have Ash in the back line with Garen there. And they have the inhibitor. And Kennen just sitting back, poking as he can. Kennen did not get in there and use his slicing maelstrom with the Zonias, which I'm rather surprised about, because Kennen can charge in and hit the Zonias, and everybody around him is stunned, and he gets to survive. But with the amount of damage they had, he'd have to time that very well, otherwise he'd just end up getting Zonias that are being surrounded by five people that want to kill him. So that's two inhibitors down for the insane visionaries here at 32 minutes. And they're going to try and increase their gold read, and taking the dragon as well. Ash throwing off Hawkshot, no, nobody's there. And Minion's taking down the top turret for him. So now we're looking at almost a, what was that, 7k gold lead for the Insane Visionaries, which is now a significant lead. And let's see what they're doing with that. As far as actual items go, we're looking at Garen, Sitting with Warmogs, BF Sword, and Black Cleaver, which means now he's got a good bit of damage and he's got enough health that they have to be scared of him. We have Ramus getting health with Spear of the Ancient Golem and the Frozen Heart, which means that the only thing that he has to worry about is AP from Kennen, and Kennen's been playing very far back. Ramus using his Power Ball to go in against Sona in a 2v1, not liking it so much, but he walks away. Now, we also have Annie picking up an almost full build here, and Annie has Azonias. If she can remember to use that, that will really help her out when I really try to dive on her, because two seconds of Ash pounding on her, and she'll go down. Because Ash has Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster, and the Phantom Dancer. And we have Leona finishing up three of the good support items, and as I'm saying that, Misfortune just gets caught out by Ramus. Because all those wards the Insane Visionaries have really helping out. They're going to go take down another inhibitor that respawned. And Annie going for the stun. Didn't have it up. But they're trying to catch somebody out. They get Irelia. And Irelia running back into the team so that everybody else can live. Because 
If Warwick went in there, he'd be dead too. So there's one Nexus turret going down. And Warwick taking a lot of damage. Does survive. Air, the arrow not getting him from Ash. And that's the Nexus turret down. The Nexus is falling. And that right there is good game. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll be posting more videos as soon as I can.